Hey guys, uh, it's Tommy here from MC Gaming, and uh, in this tutorial today, we're going to be installing the Moon mod. Um, this is a mod that's uh, been picked up by the Oddcast. I've seen a spotlight video on it, and it seems to be getting really, really popular. Um, it's on a work in progress, and it just looks class from what uh, people have been seeing and uh, heard and playing on it. So, I said I'd do a tutorial on how to install it. So uh, basically, uh, it's like the Aether and uh, the uh, what you call it, the Nether, but except it's the Moon. So I'm gonna be showing you how to install this. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah, what you wanna do first? I'm gonna put the link to the farm. Um, you'll need two other mods, but uh, the best thing about this is he put it in with the download, so don't worry about that. So you just wanna scroll down a bit, scroll down past the pictures, and you'll see a uh, big download button. If you download that, it'll bring you on to uh, a media fire, and this will have the two other mods in it. So yeah, all you do is click, and it'll download it. Click here, I'll just show you, and then it'll pop up in the corner, whatever web browser you're using. But I've uh, got it done, so you just want to save it to the desktop. <coughs> so uh, you can just leave it if you want to go back and leave it there, so you can get the recipes for making stuff. Uh, so once you get that installed, so you can just leave that aside. And once you get that uh, downloaded onto your desktop, what you want to do is go down to your Windows icon, type in the search bar, percent app data percent. That's for Windows 7 or Vista. If you're using XP or some type of Vista, just type in run. And then type in run percent app data. So I'm going to do that now. Percent app data percent. Press OK. And it'll bring you inside your Roman folder, which you want. So you can do it again, percent update percent, and it'll bring you into your Roman folder. So once you get in here, <coughs> you'll see your dot Minecraft. And if you have any uh, other mods in this, um, you'll should probably. It's if you're a modder, you're more used to it, and you'll do it the way you uh, pr proceed to do it. It's a special way you can do it. But if you have mods in it, I'm not promising you that you will get a. You're most more likely to get a black screen if you don't install it right. If you have other mods, but uh, if you want to just back it up, anyways, that's the main thing you want to do. So copy it and paste it wherever you want. I'm going to paste it to my desktop and let that paste. And um, once you get that done, this is like I said, uh, if you have any mods and I'm not promising uh, uh, the moon mod to be installed right, cause the most more than likely people have mods in, they go install more mods and uh, the bugs in them can uh, collide and it gives you a black screen. <coughs> so yeah, so you want to click aside your dot Minecraft now, and inside here you'll have your bin. So you want to click aside your bin, go down to your Minecraft dot chair. You want to go open with you need the archiver program. I'm using Win's uh, WinRare. Um, that's an archiver program. Uh, there's an, also another one is Seven Zip. I don't know. There's uh, if you don't have one, Google it and you can download it. So yeah, you just open it now with WinRare or whatever archiver program you're using. You can close out of the bin, the Minecraft Minecraft bin. What you want to do here is just your Minecraft .jar folder. So you want to put it uh, full screen. And inside here you'll have a load of class files and a bunch of folders. And what you want to do then is delete the meta INF folder. So you want to right click and you go to delete files. This is a share and you want to press yes. And what you want to do then is inside the moon. So you want to click on the moon zip with winner. And here you'll have mod loader and shock AHPI or 5. So what you want to do is drag the mod loader zip out of it. I want to drag the shock APA. The APHPI out of it. <coughs> Sorry there. And what you want to do then is you can just leave it and we're going to install mod loader first and then shock and then the moon. So what you want to do is click on the mod loader and we'll drag that aside. And what you want to do is go back to your Minecraft.jar. What you want to do is copy all the class files up to base and class and drag them down by the class files. Make sure it's on add and replace files. Press OK. That would just uh, f uh, do a little flash, and that will do it. So you can exit out a modeler that's installed. You can leave that aside. You want to move out to the shock AHPI. You want to click on that, <coughs> and inside here you'll see bin S or C and readme. So you want to go back to your Minecraft.jar. You want to go into the bin folder. You want to highlight all the class files, not the file folder at the top, all the class files down to the very bottom. Check to see that you have everything uh, highlighted. And drag the class files down with the class files inside the Minecraft.jar. Make sure it's done. Add and replace files. 
press OK. What you want to do then, you can exit out of that, is the moon. So once you click on the moon again, the folders will still be there. So all you just delete them so you're not getting confused around them. So just delete them. And you're left with the, your jar file. So what you want to do is click on that. Inside here, what you'll be left with is your the armor, basically everything that needs to go inside the bin. So you want to highlight all of them again. Not the very top folders, just up to armor. Go back to your minecraft.jar and go into the moon. Go back to the moon and all the ones you highlighted, just drag them into the bin. The minecraft.jar and there you go, just press OK. And that is it. So we're going to exit out of these now. <coughs> you can just leave them aside. You want to open up your Minecraft now and log in. So if you have mods installed, try doing it. But if it doesn't work, just put your backup back in and uh, try it again without mods. Uh, you're more likely to get a perfect uh, installed <coughs> and all that because this is a work in progress mod so uh, it can't collide with other mods too so <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> so you just want to log in um, it'll take a while so we're going to start and look at the recipes while we're waiting so basically uh, there's a few things you can make cheese with milk and you can craft uh, astronaut suits and all that so I'm just going to try again sometimes it does this so yeah you can craft a uh, stuff like that, um, the helmets, the Astok gear and a special I'm guessing lighter or something to light the portal to the moon so yeah I know the recipes now but I'm just going to log in <coughs> so we're in single player I just created a world uh, before i done this and uh, I got the stuff ready to do it so I'm just going to put my uh, sound down a tiny bit and put the render distance down to a uh, balanced uh, bobbing off. So there the good ones that doesn't really make you lag in case you're wondering. So uh, I've got a pretty uh, I'm going to make the torch first so I think it's uh, one, two oops and then uh, redstone so yeah, that makes the torch. So it is uh, installed. I just want to show you how to make a milk as well um, so we're going to get a lot of milk uh, since I don't have too many items installed so I need a lot of milk I uh, forgot. Stupid uh, sheep. So we're gonna put these in. This is how you make cheese. And you just need to fill up the whole thing. I, can do, and I can't shift it. All right. so just, this might take a while just to make cheese. I'll need to make ten of it, so two cheese, okay. Oh crap. Alright, leave them out of the way. Don't wanna make them. So we need more milk. Um, there we go. Fill up all nine spaces with milk, and you should get two blocks of cheese. So it, if you're not doing it legit, I've got all the stuff ready from too many items. Um, it can be uh, you might have to go milk in the cows for quite a while. So that's why I just got this ready and stop uh, wasting time. So yeah, uh, that should do. See how many we need. Fill all nine spaces again. Um, this does get pretty annoying, but you've got to think it is. It does take a lot to uh, make the portal to the moon if you think about it. Because uh, you need a lot of silver or iron, should I say, to uh, make buckets. Three for making a bucket. So, yeah, that's a kind of a thing. I don't know how he's going to get around or maybe if you wanted that way to make it a bit harder, I suppose. But, yeah, that's how I'm going to get past it and show you. And there we go. That's. I need 10. I know you're supposed to have 14, but there's a way you can get around that. And I'll show you guys that. Um, so it, it's easier for you to make a, the moon, to get to the moon really a bit faster. So this should do it now. And there we go. 10 cheese. You know you're supposed to have 14 for the portal, but uh, I'll show you a quicker way. So you go 1, 2, and you go 1. I don't put the corner blocks, that's how you get around it by, uh, you get away without using four blocks, so you want to go three up. Uh, you want to go over here again, and you want to go three up. What you want to do then, is you want to bring it across. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have used the corner, hold on. Do you hear a block back? Oh you do, okay, that's good. What you want to do then, so you basically, you're not using the two corners, and two corners at the bottom. So you just light it. Uh, there you go, so we're just going to go into it, um, guys, I hope this helped, if it did, uh, leave a comment, like the video, and if you have any problems installing the mod, just uh, leave a comment, message me on my channel, and I will get back to you.
you, so yeah, this is the moon mod, guys. Um, as you can see, I'm not wearing my, uh, I'm, not wearing, I'm not wearing my helmet and my gear, so that's why I died, so yeah, you need to prepare for that. The recipes are on the Minecraft farm, so yeah, guys, I hope this helped. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.